Morgan Chase. JP Morgan Chase. Okay. JP Morgan Chase. No, stop JP saying Morgan JP Morgan Chase. I got a good feeling about this. It's just a meeting, though, you know? It's, not, it's just a meeting. It's just like you know, people have meetings all the time, you know? Yeah. People drink their coffee, they have a meeting. Brownfield funds? Yes. yes. Hey. Hello. Ted. Chris. Chris. I'm on Ted's desk. Okay. Oh. I'm Charlie. I'm Charlie Geller. Jamie, Jamie, Jamie Shipley. Hi. Yeah, we're, we're, we're so excited to get set up on your trading platform. Cool. Here, uh, have a seat a second. All right. So, uh, Ted had asked me to do some meeting prep, but I, uh, I couldn't find any marketing material on you guys. Oh, uh, we just moved here from Boulder. Yeah. Got it. Well, can we see some of your offering documents? Well, Brownfield is its own money. It's our money. Well, can you tell us how much you manage? Of course. We're doing 30 million right now, um, but we started four years ago with 110,000. Wow. So, as you can see, that's pretty phenomenal pretty returns. We want to get an ISDA agreement with JP Morgan so we can uh, deal in long term options. That's really cool. <laughs> That is so cool. Thank you. But uh, you guys are under the capital requirements for an ISDA. By how much? Uh, how much? Uh, One billion four hundred seventy million. So a lot. This makes us look bad, doesn't it? That we didn't know what the capital requirements were. I. Uh, it's not great. But. Uh, Keep up those returns and uh, give us a call way down the line, you know? <laughs> okay? Okay. Okay. Thanks, Chris. Have a good one, guys. Thank you, Chris. Uh, what? <sighs> Shit. Who the fuck oh, schedules a meeting at 4.50 in the so afternoon? Painful. Dude, B of A and Bear didn't even return our calls, and even fucking Wachovia blew us off, I know. man. Here's the prospectuses of all the other losers who didn't make it past the lobby. I don't think I can do this anymore, you know? I'm young yet, I can still do something with my life. I miss Colorado anyway, the weed's better. Gentlemen, I need you to leave. Yep, yep, we're going. Let's go. Look at this, look at this. This guy says that the housing market's a giant bubble. Okay, so this part isn't totally accurate. You know, we didn't find Jared Bennett's housing bubble pitch in the lobby of a bank that rejected us. The truth is, um, a friend had told Charlie about it, and I read about it in Grant's Interest Rate Observer. This is crazy. This is crazy stuff. Shit, he's saying that there's 10 to 1 returns on credit default swaps for mortgage-backed securities, and the whole housing market is about to collapse? For uh, Jamie and Charlie, the housing market doomsday prediction was music to their ears. I'm so happy, cause today I found my friends, they're in my head. They had started working out of Jamie's garage with 110,000 Jamie had saved, taking sailboats up and down the East Coast. Our investment strategy was simple. People hate to think about bad things happening, so they always underestimate their likelihood. Their strategy was simple and brilliant. What he said. Jamie and Charlie found markets will sell options very cheaply on things they think will never happen. So when they were wrong, they were wrong small, but when they were right, they were right big. Within a few years, they had turned 110 grand into 30 million. But then it was time to go to New York City, and so far, it wasn't going very well. So what if it does seem interesting? No, no bank will give us our ISDA. We're dead in the water. These kind of trades are totally out of the question. You gotta call Ben. Let's call Ben! Ben Ricker was a former trader in Singapore for Chase who quit the whole game in disgust. He just happened to be Jamie's neighbor when they were in Colorado and they met walking dogs. But Ben was dark. He didn't just think the whole system would fail. He thought the whole world was going down. Now that salad is... Oh, good. You know, every one of these vegetables is fresh from my garden. You guys should start your own garden. What you gotta do is get your soil off petrochemicals. Mm. I used wood ash and urine, help restore the soil, creates ammonia nitrate. Seeds are gonna be the new currency. And not those Franken seeds from Monsanto. I'm talking about good, healthy, organic seeds. 
Make right yourself up. a garden. Learn to I'll live off the land. Lunatic. Ben had real experience in a big bank. Jamie and Charlie had never even been in a Manhattan bank bathroom. But Ben was done with the banking world. He was very clear. Right. I realize that. Let's crunch some numbers, and then maybe we'll talk about we'll crunch the numbers. Ben. We always crunch the numbers. When haven't we crunched Seriously, the numbers? Guys? We're going to crunch the numbers. Like I need you, Maddie. Of course. We're, we're, yes, ma'am. We're going. Second. We're going.